guys, Twig and Timber Outdoors, and today we're going to cover the top five trout flies that every angler needs to have. We're going to split these into different categories. We're going to start off with our best dry flies to start. The number one dry fly to have, everyone's going to agree, is probably an Adam's pattern, okay? It represents so many different types of dry flies or, or, or surface flies that you'd be terribly at a disadvantage without it. Usually we use Adam's pattern flies for softer waters, like throwing it behind some obstructions, or perhaps in a pool, or in cut banks. It's very delicate, so rough waters doesn't really handle very well. The second best dry fly we have is an elk hair caddis. Usually fished in rougher waters, it's kind of like the counterpart to the Adam's fly. It was developed in the west and it really, really handles because it's so bushy, those rougher waters much better. The elk hair caddis can portray a host of different caddis bodies or caddis flies, as well as mayflies and other insects as well. All right, now that we're done with our dry flies, those are the top two, we're going to move on to our best nymph. One of the best nymphs you can have in your box is the hare's ear nymph. The, this, the hare's ear nymph is one of the most essential flies because it can resemble so many different types of subsurface insects. It can resemble nymphs, pupa, ranging in all different sizes, as well as even scuds. I usually fish in a tan or an olive, and it depends on the situation what color I choose. The pheasant tail nymph is the other counterpart. It's a slender, more dark version of a hare's ear nymph. The pheasant tail nymph is super effective whenever mayflies are generally the best or largest part of the diet of the local trout that you're fishing. It also makes one of the best searching patterns for whenever you can't see any insects on the top of the water. So if you're stumped as to what to throw, try a pheasant tail nymph. My favorites for these are a brown or olive pattern fished between a 10 and a 16. I'd be remiss if I didn't include a woolly bugger in the top flies for trout because well, the woolly booger can catch anything. In fact, any streamer can catch anything, but we want to remember that we usually use these to target large trout, okay? And you fish them differently as well. Usually you fish them stripped. Now, this list doesn't include any wet flies because they're more so a tying style. Um, they're thinner and very little material, and they're fished a little differently. But if you'd like to see a video talking about these, about midges, or even terrestrials, which are very successful, just so different, all right? Let me know in the comment section below. Now, I want to let you know that all these different flies that I'm talking about right now that you find great success with can be found in the new fly fishing box from Lucky Tackle Box. Follow my link down below, all right? And you'll be able to go and order yourself one of the best resources for finding and developing different patterns and flies that you can possibly find for a new or even a veteran angler. These boxes are hand-packed by Umqua, these boxes are so good, you can grab a box, go out the next day, and catch a monster trophy trout. Alright guys, hopefully this was informative, hopefully you had a good time, and hopefully this answers some of your questions. If you liked the video, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and until next time guys, tight lines.